So as we know that weapons are really important in Genshin Impact, but it's also true that we cannot get all the 5 star weapons so easily. So that's why we use the best 4 star for our best characters. And in this video, I'm going to rank top 10 best 4 star weapons in Genshin Impact. So now let's start. At number 10, we have Luxurious Sea Lord. The Luxurious Sea Lord is a 4 star claymore that not only increases elemental burst damage by 12%, but also when an elemental burst hits an opponent, a flurry of tuna shows up and deals 100% attack damage as AoE. This only occurs once every 15 seconds, but it is still a great ability to have in the party's arsenal. It also can be argued that Luxurious Sea Lord is the funniest weapon in the game from an aesthetic standpoint. It's a giant fish that players get to equip and use on the field. Even though its regular stats aren't too outstanding when compared to the rest of 4 star weapons, AoE damage is always beneficial and not many other 4 star choices provide that. At number 9 we have Bell. Now Genshin Impact has plenty of underrated characters, weapons and more. But the Bell may be the most underrated. The Bell provides a 10 second shield when players take damage, which absorbs up to 20% of max HP. This ability can be triggered every 45 seconds, which is a bit of a downfall. But this ability combined with its 9% HP secondary stat, both make it extremely worthwhile. The players also receive 12% increase to their damage while they are inside the shield. The Bell's base attack of 42 and secondary HP boost make it a solid weapon. But combined with its unique ability, it's a great choice. At number 8, we have the catch. Now this is a weapon that can only be obtained by fishing, which already makes it stands out against the rest of the 4 star weapons, even though it's rather difficult to obtain. The catch is a unique polearm whose benefits mostly come from its 5 refinement ability, which increases elemental burst by 32% and the elemental burst crit rate by 12%. Even though its effectiveness requires a bit of grind to get that refinement ability up, the increase of elemental burst damage and crit rates are just substantial to be ignored. It edges out the luxurious sea lord and the bell through the stats buffs alone. At number 7 we have Black Cliff Long Sword. While the Favonius Sword is considered to be one of the best 4 star sword for any user in Genshin Impact, due to the elemental orbs it generates, the Black Cliff Long Sword edges it out through sheer damage and stack capabilities. Defeating an enemy increases the attack by 12, 15, 18, 21 and 24 percent for 30 seconds and this can stack up to 3 times. If the player gets the refinement ability up to 5, a 24 percent attack increase for 30 seconds is already quite a lot. Stack 3 times? Well forget about this. This weapon is well rounded and its prevalence throughout the player's base makes it a really strong weapon. At number 6 we have the very decent hunt. A common choice out of the 4 star bows. The very decent hunt can be unlocked at level 30 of the battle pass. It has a base attack of 42 and crit rate of 6%. Also upon being hit, the player's normal and aimed shots attack have a 50% chance of summoning a 40% damage cyclone which continuously attracts enemies for up to 4 seconds with a 14 second cooldown. This percentage jumps to 80% damage and the cooldown drops to 10 seconds once the weapon reaches level 5. The ability to attract enemies with the cyclone is already powerful enough but the duration of the cyclone and the brief cooldown makes this a very solid weapon. At number 5 we have the stringless. The stringless is an elemental bow with an attack of 42 and an elemental mastery of 36. When the players equip it, the elemental skill and elemental damage receives a 24 to 48% jump. Depending upon refinement level, character selection and luck. Other 4 star options introduce unique abilities which gives them an advantage regardless of their middling damage output. But when placed against the 4 star bow options, the stringless packs too much of the utilization. Damage based punch to pass up and it has a welcome spot amidst the rest of the 4 star category. At number 4 we have Dodo Tales. Many Genshin players use solar pole but that's likely because they are Genshin impact beginners and weren't around to obtain Dodo Tales during its limited event. It has a base attack of 42 and an attack increase of 12% as its secondary stat. When players land a normal attack, the catalyst increased charge attack damage by 16% for 6 seconds. Likely when players land charge attacks, it increases their damage by 8% for 6 seconds. Which some could argue that Solar Pearl's passive ability provides more benefits, the limited nature of Dodoko Tales and the utilization nature of its passive ability narrowly makes it more preferable choice. At number 3 we have Wavebreaker's Fin. Wavebreaker's Fin has a base attack of 45 and its secondary stat provides a 3% increase to attack. The weapon becomes more stronger depending on the maximum energy capacity that the party has a hole. Whoever equips Wavebreaker's Fin has the elemental burst damage increased by 12% for every point of the whole party's maximum energy capacity. This can add up to 40% overall increase depending on just how much energy capacity the party has. The pole arm's default power is already solid enough to be one of the best but it joins the ranks of Genshin's highly versatile
missile character and weapons. If the player curates party members specifically to maximize energy capacity throughout the party. At number 2 we have the Sword of Dissension. When specifying the best weapons in Genshin, the Sword of Dissension has to be mentioned. The normal and charged attacks have a 50% chance to deal 200% damage in an AoE. And if Traveler equips it, their damage increases to 66. Likely the luxurious Sea Lord and a handful of others, Sword of Dissension's AoE provides a great advantage on the field. And when combined with character specific damage boost, it becomes one of the best options in the game. And finally at number 1 we have the Red Set. This 4 star catalyst has a base attack of 42 and a crit damage increase of 12%. These stats place it in a similar realm of effectiveness as the rest of the 4 star weapons, but the Red Set gets the edge through its highly unusual, high powerful passive ability. For 10 seconds when the weapon is equipped, the player will get a random theme song, each corresponding with a different buff. Retractive increase attack by 60%, RVI increase elemental damage by 48% and the interlude increase elemental mastery by 240. This is one of the few options in any weapon category which is almost one of the best of its class and for some people it's even better than 5 star weapons. But what do you guys think? Which 4 star weapon do you use and which 4 star weapon do you think should be added on this list? Comment down below. And now thanks for watching.